and welcome this is Kushbu Bhatta and today we will learn how you can automatically send WhatsApp alerts when a user registers for a Zoom meeting. Basically there are two ways. First you go to Zoom, copy all the details of your registered user, come back, compose a message, insert the meeting link and send the message to every single user via WhatsApp. However, this can be a lengthy process. So how about you try our Pabli smart way. Here we will integrate Zoom with WhatsApp, all using Pabli Connect. So whenever a new user is registered on Zoom, WhatsApp will automatically send them a message. Come to my screen to see how we do it. To send Zoom invite on WhatsApp, let us first go to Pabli's website. On the top right, you will see two options, sign up free and sign in. Since I already have an account, I will just sign in. Now go to Pabli Connect. On the top right, you will see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name the workflow. I will write zoom to WhatsApp create. Now it will show you two windows, act, trigger and action. Trigger is basically when this happens, action says do this. So let us select zoom as our trigger application. Now select configure webhooks as a trigger event. Okay, it will show you a webhook URL. So what is this webhook URL? This is basically a link that connects two applications. Let us copy this. And now straight away go to Zoom's page where we have to paste this URL. Now straight away come to the left hand side. On the last you will see advanced option. Go to app marketplace. Now come to the top right corner, you will see a develop drop down. Click on build app. Now select webhook only. It will ask you to name. Just write or whatever name you want to give. I am writing testing. Alright, here it is. So it will ask you to fill in a few details. Okay, so we have filled in these details. Now let us quickly continue. Here, let us switch it on event subscription. Now add event. Here you will have to give it a name. We will just write registration update. All right. Here you will have to paste the URL that we copied from Pabli Connect. Yes, this is the one. Come back, paste it. Go to add events. So here you will see various types of events. You can select as per your need. I will take meeting. Now these are the alerts you want to send. I will take meeting registration has been created and done. Now let's save this. Yes. And continue. Okay. It says your app is activated on the account. Let's go to Pabli's page. And yes, you will see Oh, it's waiting for a webhook response. So let us quickly go and create a dummy meeting. Yes, I've already created this board meeting, this dummy meeting. It's scheduled for July 18, 12.30 p.m. as per this timing. Now for this, let us quickly fill a dummy form, a dummy registration form. Here it is. We have filled in these details. Let us register. All right. Okay, it says meeting registration approved. Here is the meeting name, the meeting timing and date and it has generated the meeting link as well. Now let us go to Pabli Connect and see if it has captured the response. Yes, it has. You can see everything here. The name, the mail ID of the register, the person who registered, his contact number and the status. Everything is here. That means we have successfully connected Zoom with Pabli Connect. Now let us Go on to the second step. Click on plus button and we will write date time formatter. Action event would be format date with time zone. Connect the two. Okay, before we proceed further, let me tell you why we are selecting date time formatter. Here, if you will see the response, you will see the time is 7. 
However, our meeting time was 12.30 p.m. So to set the date as per our time zone, we will be using date time formatter. It's connected. Let us quickly map the date. Here it is. Now select the format in which you want your date and timing. You can select the format as per your need. We will select this. And from time zone, this is UTC basically. From this, we need to do Asia Kolkata. Yes. And save and send test. Here you can see 12.30 p.m. That was our meeting timing. Here it is. So we have successfully formatted the timing. Now on to the next step. Click here on the plus button. You will select text formatter. Action event would be split text. Connect the two. So here we will have to write the text that we have to split. We have to split this. You can see date and timing are together. We want to split this. We want date and timing separately, individually. So since we have to separate the space here, let us just copy this. Yes. And the index was, would be all. Since we want date and timing individually, save and send test request. You will see date and timing are separate now. All right, now on to the final step, action step. That is WhatsApp Cloud API. Action event would be send template message since that's what we want. Add new connection. All right, here it will ask you for a few keys. For this, let us go to developers page and straight away come on the left hand side. You will see WhatsApp drop down. Click on getting started. Now copy this. Come back to Pabli's page, paste this again, scroll down. Here you will see phone number ID, copy this onto the Pabli connect page and here paste it. Now it will need WhatsApp business account ID. Again, let us go to developers page right next to the phone number ID. You will see WhatsApp business account ID, copy this and paste it and save. All right, it is successfully connected. Now let us select the template name. Mine would be this Zoom invitation. Why? Because I have already created a template. Template is basically the message that would be sent to the user, to the person who will register for the meeting. I'll give you a glimpse here. Yes, so this is the template. Dear, here the person's name will come, the person who you are sending this message to. And then thank you for registering yourself for the meeting. Yes, so this message would be sent to the person, to the person who registered for the meeting. Okay, now scroll down and it will need your few more details. Recipient mobile number, we'll go to Zoom and quickly map it. Click here. Now it will need body field one. Now let us go back to the template message and see what body field one exactly is. Here it is, you can see dear. The, there is this bracket here we will have to fill the name of the person who we are sending this message to so let us map the name scroll and this is the first name give a space we will take the last name as well okay the name is here then body field two example they have given meeting again let us go to the template to see what exactly it is here it says thank you for registering yourself for the this for the basically event type you can write here or the meeting's name. Now let us map this. Here it is, the board meeting, name of the topic. Now body field three, it is timing basically, but again, let us go back to the template and check. Yeah, the webinar will happen at here. It's the timing. Let us map it. Now we will go to text formatter and take the individual timing. Yes, we will give a space and take the PM as well. That because that's the full timing of our meeting, 12.30 PM. Now onto the body field four. Here we will have to map the date, the date of the meeting again to te text formatter. And let us quickly map this. Here the URL will come, the meeting link will come. Now let us go to the Zoom and 
click here join url like you can see in the template you can join the meeting webinar through link below so we will have to give the link here if you have mapped in okay save and send test request it says response received now let us go to the users whatsapp account to see if they have received our message yes they have you can see here thank you for registering yourself for the board meeting the webinar will happen at 12 30 pm on this date and here is the url i hope this video was helpful for you for more such videos you can subscribe to our channel on youtube